So these are the AirPods 4 and initially I didn't think much of them, but these are actually a huge upgrade over previous AirPods. You can get them with active noise cancellation, which honestly performs a lot better than I expected. And I think that it's safe to say that these are going to be replacing my AirPod Pro 2 for the time being. So whether you're an iPhone or an Android user, let's see what the AirPod 4s with ANCs are all about. And we're also gonna see how they compare to 2024's latest ANC earbuds. So first there's the price. The AirPods 4 without ANC retail for $130 and the AirPods 4 with ANC retail for $180. Honestly, I don't think that that's bad at all. And for comparison's sake, the AirPod Pro 2 retail for $250 and the Beat Studio Buds Plus retail for $170. Now we're gonna be comparing the AirPods 4 to a lot of other earbuds earbuds today, but if you want to pick any of these earbuds up, they'll be linked down below or you can always press on the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, pick up some merch. We have trucker hats, snapbacks, and shirts, and everything is printed on higher quality products. So they're going to last you a good while. And by buying merch, that helps us produce more independent versus videos. Thank you to everyone who's bought a shirt or a hat, and let's get subscribed. So first, we have to talk about the case, because whether you get the version with ANC or without, I feel that this case is a big deal. Now, Apple has always had some of the smallest cases out out there for their earbuds and I have always really loved a small case because it just makes it super easy for an everyday carry. Now at first glance this case looks identical to the AirPods 3 case but surprisingly this case is a little smaller. Thickness and height wise they are about the same but the older case is noticeably wider than the AirPods 4's case. And overall the AirPods 4's case is smaller than the original AirPods case because it has a smaller footprint. And more importantly Importantly, it's smaller than the AirPod Pro's 2 case and the B Studio Buds Plus case just looks giant compared to the AirPods 4's case. So overall, I can't stress how amazed I am that Apple managed to shrink the AirPods 4's case down even more because it just makes it even more convenient for everyday carry. And other cases out there from other companies just struggle to compare to the AirPods 4's new case. And if you were to go with the AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation like we have have here then this case also has a built-in speaker like the AirPod Pro's 2 case so for when you eventually lose your earbuds and it is gonna happen not only are you going to be able to use the Find My network to track your earbuds and case down the speaker is also going to help you find it and again this just adds as to why I'm just so amazed that Apple managed to shrink this case down from the AirPods 3 case because it's not just smaller they also crammed in a speaker if you get the version with active noise cancellation. And when it comes to charging the AirPods 4 case, it charges via a USB-C port, which is to be expected because Apple has finally caved and everything is going USB-C. But also, the AirPods 4 case has wireless charging, so you can throw it onto any Qi wireless charging mat, or you can also charge it up with your Apple Watch's charger, just like how you can with the AirPod Pro 2. And this is another upgrade from the AirPods 3 case, because yes, it does does have wireless charging but you can't charge it using your Apple Watch's charger and I feel that simply having options is nice and then there are the Beats Studio Buds Plus case and this case is just huge and it just doesn't have wireless charging. But then there's the battery life on these earbuds. Now both the AirPods 4 and AirPods 3 have a combined battery life of 30 hours if you use the AirPods 4 with the active noise cancellation turned off. However, the AirPods 4 have a little less stamina than the AirPods 3. With the AirPods 3, they can go for as long as 6 hours, whereas the AirPods 4, they can go for as long as 5 hours with their active noise cancellation turned off. Now, personally, I don't think that this one hour difference is a huge deal, but you might want to be mindful of this, especially if you work retail or maybe in a warehouse or maybe you do a lot of driving. And with active noise cancellation turned on, the AirPods 
AirPods 4 can go for as long as four hours. And when we compare the AirPods 4 to the AirPod Pro 2, the AirPods Pro 2 have a combined battery life of 30 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on. And the AirPod Pro 2 can go for as long as six hours with their active noise cancellation turned on versus the four hours on the AirPods 4 with their active noise cancellation turned on. And with the AirPods Pro 2, you can also extend their battery life by using them with their active noise cancellation turned off. So overall, the battery life to case size ratio on the AirPods 4 with ANC is great because this case is very small and it's packed with features and it has a combined battery life of 30 hours with active noise cancellation turned off, which is great. However, the stamina on the AirPods 4 is a little less than the stamina on the AirPods 3, but I think it's negligible given the case improvements. But the AirPods Pros 2s are going to give you a considerably better battery life because they have a combined battery life of 30 hours with active noise cancellation turned on and you can get more out of them if you use them with their active noise cancellation turned off. However, you are going to have to carry around a larger case than in the AirPods 4, but I think it could be worth it for some people. Plus, the AirPods Pros 2 case is still super small when compared to a lot of other cases out there. But with the cases out of the way, let's talk about the earbuds themselves. And again, at first glance, the AirPods 4's earbuds look very similar to the AirPods 3's earbuds. There are some big upgrades here as well. The sculpt of the AirPods 4 has been changed from the AirPods 3. The AirPods 4 are a little flatter, the height is a little shorter, and the mouth is a little longer. So the result is, I feel the AirPods 4 do a better job of creating a seal with your ear canals without actually having to go into your ear canals like with in-ear earbuds. So as a result, the AirPods 4 do a slightly better job of passively blocking out noise than the AirPods 3. Now, the difference in amount of noise being blocked out is it huge, but it is there. But more importantly, I think the AirPods 4 feel more comfortable than the AirPods 3 because they feel a little less bulky. But since these earbuds don't actually go into your ear canals like the AirPod Pro 2 or like any other in-ear earbuds out there, these aren't going to passively block out as much noise. So your music isn't going to sound as good and noise pollution is still going to manage to get in. But comfort wise, I prefer these over in-ear earbuds and they still offer great lockdown without actually needing ear fins so they don't wiggle out all that easily and the fact that these don't have ear fins is good because that contributes to them having a small case. Overall, the AirPods 4 are a comfortable pair of earbuds for casual use. Now, when it comes to connectivity, the AirPods 4 work with both iPhone and Android devices, but the AirPods 4 are going to work best when used with an iPhone. As soon as you connect these earbuds to your iPhone, they're going to auto automatically connect to all of your other Apple devices associated to your iCloud account. So you can easily hot swap between all of your Apple devices. So if you have an iPhone, you can easily switch over to your Mac or to your iPad. But more importantly, each earbud establishes a connection with your device. So if you just want to use one earbud at a time, you can use either one. It doesn't matter. And I know that this sounds super basic, especially in late 2024, early 2025. But Apple has been doing this right since day one with their original AirPods. And it took multiple years for the rest of the competition to get this right. And from a performance standpoint, again, these earbuds have zero lane, zero Across the board so they're gonna be great for watching movies or videos on your phone but with all that out of the way let's talk about sound and well the AirPods 4 sound just as you'd expect for a pair of non in-ear earbuds to sound the AirPods 4 have a very bass heavy sound signature and the bass on these earbuds hits it very hard and the vocals on these earbuds are also very well pronounced so that they can cut through all of the bass the highs on these earbuds are also well controlled and they never get tinny or more importantly the highs never get ear piercing Overall, the AirPods 4 sound more than good enough to get the job done. They get decently loud and they're great for casual listening or while at the gym. 
However, even though these earbuds sound decently open, the instrumentals on these earbuds aren't as pronounced as with in-ear earbuds, but the AirPods 4 do have a spatial audio, and with spatial audio turned on, these earbuds open up and the instrumentals are able to come out. Now, the AirPods 4 are also able to do the whole head tracking thing, but I don't like it. I honestly just think that it's just a gimmick, so I do use the spatial audio on the AirPods 4 when it's turned on, but I do set it to fixed. But then there's also the fact that the AirPods 4 are simply always going to let in a good amount of noise pollution because they aren't in your -ear earbuds. So overall, yes, the AirPods 4 sound good and they have a lot of bass. They're great for watching videos or movies, listening to podcasts, and listening to music while you work out. However, if you want better sound quality, then you are better off going with a pair of in-ear -ear earbuds because they are going to passively block out noise pollution and they will allow you to more easily hear the final details in the instrumentals. But I'm not mad at how the AirPods 4 sound. But then there are the media controls on the AirPods 4. Now, just like before, you have the stems that you can squeeze so you can play or pause your music, you can skip through your music, and so that you can answer or reject phone calls. Overall, these stems get the job done, but I've always felt that it feels a little awkward having to squeeze them. But the main thing that I really miss on the AirPods 4 is that you can't swipe on their stems to adjust the volume like how you can with the AirPod Pro 2. But besides that everything else is the same there are proximity sensors so they're going to automatically play or pause your music when you take them out or put them back in and they have hey Siri support so you can activate siri with just your voice however with the airpod 4s you can activate siri by simply saying siri just like with the AirPod Pro 2s, whereas with the AirPod 3s, you have to say, hey Siri. And just like with the AirPod Pro 2s, the AirPod 4s also have head gesture controls, so you can nod your head yes or no to answer or reject phone calls. And personally, I am indifferent about this feature. It could be useful in small situations where you need to answer the phone and your hands are full. But besides that, I kind of feel that uh, head nodding gestures are a little awkward. But then there's the active noise cancellation on the AirPods 4 and quite honestly the ANC on the AirPods 4s has me very excited for the AirPods Pros 3s because the AirPods 4s block out a lot of noise even though they aren't in your -ear earbuds. Now, when it comes to my 2024 ANC earbuds ranking list, in first place, we do have the Sennheiser Momentum 4s, which block out a ton of noise, but they also go in super deep into your ear canals, plus they, re they have a really bulky case. Right below them are the AirPod Pro 2s, which are a lot more comfortable. Right below them are the Sony WF-1000XM5s, which aren't as comfy because their foam ear tips can get a little itchy after a while. Right below them are the Bose QC earbuds, the new ones for 2024. Below them are the AirPod 4s, and below them are the Bose QC Ultra earbuds. Then right below them are the Sony Link Buds S. Below them are the Pixel Buds 2 Pro. Below them are the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Below them are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Below them are the Galaxy Buds 2. Below them are the Sony Link Buds Fit. Below them are the Galaxy Buds 3. And below them are the Beat Studio Buds Plus. So obviously these aren't all of the ANC earbuds on the market because there are a lot out there. But I think that these are some of the most important ones for late 2024. And more importantly, the ANC on the AirPods 4 is super impressive and it manages to block out a lot more noise than a lot of other earbuds out there. And the AirPods AirPods 4 simply embarrasses the Galaxy Buds 3, which also aren't in your -ear earbuds and they don't block out anywhere near as much noise as the AirPods 4s. And also, the ANC on the AirPods 4 doesn't change how your music sounds, and there's also very little carbon pressure. These actually have less carbon pressure than the AirPod Pro 2s. The only thing that I do have to point out is that there is like this slight buffering, almost as if when you're in the car with the windows down on the highway. It's very minimal, and it doesn't happen all of the time, but I really do hope that Apple is able to adjust this through a future firmware update. But nonetheless, 
the AirPods 4 managed to block out a lot of noise even though they aren't in your earbuds and they have me super excited for the AirPod Pro 3s. And then there's the ambient mode on the AirPods 4 and this is another thing that Apple has always done very well because the ambient mode on the AirPods 4 sounds like you don't even have earbuds in your ears and the microphone array on these earbuds does a really good job of rejecting wind noise when walking outdoors. The only thing is it doesn't seem like the AirPods 4 have an active ambient mode because these just let in everything unlike the AirPod Pro 2s and also the AirPod 4s aren't going to be able to be used as hearing aids like with the AirPod Pro 2s once they get that firmware update but nonetheless the ambient mode on the AirPod 4s is awesome it sounds like you're not wearing earbuds people's voices are very easy to understand and their microphone array does a great job of rejecting wind noise when walking outdoors and this is another major feature that is not found on the AirPod 3s however the ambient mode on the AirPod 4s are only available if you get the AirPod 4s with active noise cancellation. And finally, here's the microphone test. And this is another thing that Apple has always done very well. They want their earbuds to be super convenient. Now, the microphone on the AirPods 3 sounds pretty decent while in a quiet room. Now, the microphone on the B Studio Buds Plus also sounds pretty good, but I can't help but feel that this microphone sounds a little shallower than the mic found on the AirPods 3. But then there's the microphone on the AirPods 4, and this microphone has noticeably better clarity than the mic found on both the AirPods 3s and the Beats Studio Buds Plus. And then there's the microphone on the AirPod Pro 2, and these sound and perform identical to the mic on the AirPod 4. Because both the AirPod Pro 2 and the AirPods 4 do a really good job of dealing with noise pollution. Because with both the AirPod Pro 2 and the AirPods 4s, these are doing a really good job of blocking out this road noise. Because for comparison's sake, if we were to switch over to my lapel microphone, you're going to clearly hear all of this road noise. But if we were to switch back over to the AirPod 4s, it is really reduced and my voice still sounds great. Now, the Beat Studio Buds Plus also does a good job of reducing all of this road noise. However, they aren't doing as good of a job as either the AirPod Pro 2s or the AirPods 4. And then there are the AirPod 3s, which are reducing this road noise, and you can still easily understand me, but there is a noticeable amount of noise pollution in the background. But when it comes to blocking out chatter, there is a considerable amount of interference going on with my voice, and there is a good amount of noise pollution in the background as well. Whereas with the Beat Studio Buds Plus, these are blocking out a lot of this chatter. However, my voice sounds very pushed down and much. And then there are the AirPods Pro 2 and the AirPods 4, which also block out a lot of chatter, but they also like to push down on your voice a little bit. But I feel that these have a little more clarity than the Beat Studio Buds Plus. And again, for comparison's sake, if we were to switch over to my lapel microphone, you're going to clearly hear all of this chatter. But if we were to switch back over to the AirPods 4, it is really seduced. So overall, yes, the AirPods 4 have a better sounding and better performing microphone for phone calls than the AirPods 3. But the microphone on the AirPods 4 is sounds and perform the same as the mic on the AirPod Pro 2. Overall, this is a great sounding microphone for phone calls and you can get away with a lot of noise pollution. But with all that being said, the AirPod 4s are a bigger upgrade than I expected and these are perhaps the most convenient earbuds that Apple has ever made. Personally, I was shocked to see that the AirPod 4s have a smaller case than the AirPods 3. And if you have the ANC version like I do, then you're going to have that built-in speaker which does come in clutch. Plus, you're now going to be able to charge this case with your Apple Watch charger. Yes, you do have to sacrifice a little bit of battery life stamina but the airpods 4 still have an incredible battery life to case size ratio and even though the airpod 4s aren't in your -ear earbuds they manage to block out a ton of noise more noise than some in your -ear earbuds out there and since they aren't in your -ear earbuds they're more comfortable but thanks to their new scope these earbuds offer better lockdown than the airpod 3s and they also passively block out a little more noise pollution as well the AirPod 4s with active noise cancellation also have a super clear sounding ambient mode that 
that sounds like you're not even wearing earbuds and they also have a great sounding microphone for phone calls and they block out a lot of noise pollution. The only thing is, given the nature of their fit, these earbuds are still going to let in some noise pollution, so your music isn't going to sound as good as with a pair of in-ear earbuds. And like with other earbuds that rest in the bowl of your ears, the AirPods 4 have a very bass-heavy sound signature. But regardless, the AirPod 4s sound great, and since these earbuds are a lot more comfortable than in-ear earbuds combined with their small case and long battery life, the AirPods AirPod 4s are perhaps the most convenient earbuds on the market right now. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular, so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.